Hello, this is Jonathan, your client support specialist at BlueDag. Today we'll look at two new software features introduced with BlueDag version 4.4, Jurisdiction Boundary and the Grievances Public View. A Title II entity can now set its jurisdiction's boundary, which will be displayed in all map views. The Grievances Public View is like the Barrier Public View that is part of BlueDag's Living Transition Plan allowing the public to obtain limited information about existing grievances in real time. The subscriber can configure what data is presented to citizens in the public view of grievances. Let's begin. We'll set the jurisdiction boundary first. Click Manage on the left sidebar, then click My Subscriber Details. First, I must enter my location in the address area. In this case, the details have already been filled in. For this demonstration, we'll assume that I want the boundary for the city of Rancho Cordova, California. My address is within that jurisdiction's boundary. Next, I'll select this drop-down. Draw jurisdiction boundary. I can choose from a state, county, or city boundary. I'll choose city. Now I'll use the zoom controls on the map to zoom in until my boundary fills the map view. Note that the zoom level field value changes as I zoom. I'll click Save. Now every map view within Blue Dag's Title II suite displays my jurisdiction boundary with the same amount of zoom. This is the evaluations table. Let's switch to the grievances table. Here's the barrier findings table. Let's look at the projects table. All of these views, as well as the public grievances view, show the jurisdiction boundary in this way. So, how does the public see an entity's grievances and barriers? BlueDag will provide Title II subscribers with a unique URL for each type of public view upon request. The subscriber can include the links in their published transition plan or post the link on their public website. When a member of the public clicks on the link, they will see a table and map view like this. This is the Grievances Public View. Note that citizens cannot access the subscriber's BlueDag account and cannot modify the data shown here. Like inside the BlueDag subscriber portal, a pin is presented on the map for each grievance. Clicking on a pin provides some basic information about that grievance. All sensitive information, such as personal details about the requester, is omitted. No Title I employee accommodation requests are included in this view. Only Title II grievances and requests are shown here. The table can be sorted and searched, just like in the portal. Searching by address is also available in the public view. BlueDag Title II subscribers have some control over the data included in the table. Let's switch back to My Subscriber Details in the portal. I'll click the Preferences tab then scroll down to the Public Barrier and Public Grievance Field Choosers. Here, I can determine which fields will be available for searching and sorting in the Public View. To include a field, click its name in the Available box, then click Choose to move it to the Selected box. Selected fields can be moved up or down with these arrow buttons to change the order of columns in the Public Table. Select a field in the selected box and click Remove to remove it from the public view. Let's switch to the General tab. The Grievance Intake Form Link field should contain the full URL of the web page that provides the subscriber's grievance intake form or information. The intake method may be a phone number, email address, downloadable form, or BlueDag's Grievance Intake web form. Whatever the method, the URL to access it should be saved in this field, including the leading HTTP or HTTPS notation. Let's switch back to the Public Grievances view. If citizens wish to report a grievance or request, they click the Report Issue button here. They will be taken to the Grievance Intake URL we configured in the previous step. In this case, we are using the hosted Grievance Intake web form that BlueDag provides to Title II subscribers. A subscriber can host this form on their public website, or BlueDag can host it for the subscriber if preferred. The Grievance Intake web form is explained in another BlueDag University video, so please watch that video for more information on this feature. When the citizen submits the completed form, 
a new grievance will be created in the subscriber's web portal. That will wrap it up for this video. Please contact us if you have any questions or would like more information. Thanks for watching.